hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in today's video we are going to discuss some more important things related to the biomedical instrumentation especially the biomedical measurement the signal measurement so in the previous videos we have discussed about uh, the recording electrodes and uh, about the electrode skin interface in two parts first is the electrode electrolyte interface and then the electrolyte skin interface so in this video we are going to discuss some other important things that are related to the uh, signal measurements the biomedical signal measurements which influence the uh, measurement process okay so we know that a basic biomedical measurement system it looks something like this whatever parameter that we want to measure be it uh, electrocardiogram signal ecg electromyogram signal electroencephalogram body temperature blood pressure heart rate pulse rate whatever parameter which we want to measure we have to measure it with the help of a sensor or transducer which is placed on the electrode and then after the transduction process is complete that uh, that is the measurement is converted into a suitable voltage or current signal which is of course of low magnitude in the order of uh, microvolts or millivolts generally or, or even lower than that it is fed to the signal conditioner and processing units amplification frequency response noise removal uh, linearization many things are done and then it is given to the output system for display storage alarm generation whatever so three factors or three things come across in the measurement process which can in a way affect this measurement process or hamper this uh, whole measurement process and those three things are this first is the skin contact impedance okay second one is the motion artifacts and third one is polarization so we will discuss about uh, these three things so first let us discuss about the skin contact impedance so what is the skin contact impedance now we know that the bioelectric signals uh, have to be uh, picked up uh, for measurement from the specific body part by applying electrodes whether we use surface electrodes or deep seated electrodes it depends on uh, the type of measurement we want there the impedance of the electrode skin junction comes into play okay the electrode skin junction it has a impedance which comes in the overall circuitry of the measurement system and the bulk of this electrode skin impedance is because of the upper layer of the skin and uh, we know that in uh, the biomedical measurement systems the signal values generally range in uh, millivolt or microvolt so even a small amount of uh, any any small factor be it impedance or any noise signal it can hamper this whole measurement process okay because the signal values are so low that even a small amount of voltage can mask can 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 cover up the entire uh, original signal of interest and we will get a wrong value at the output so this skin contact impedance of the electrode skin junction it comes in the overall circuitry of the measurement system and this is called as the contact impedance or the skin contact impedance okay and as i said the outer layer of the skin it forms the bulk of the skin contact impedance so you see here this uh, junction okay we have this electrode we have the electrolyte or electrode jelly or paste which is used and this is the skin now this electrode skin jun junction 
okay which involves the electrode electrolyte and electrolyte uh, skin interface it has a certain impedance which is called as the skin contact impedance and this affects the measurement process so we can visualize it like uh, this okay so we have uh, three electrodes let's say electrode a b and c and they are used for measurement of different parameters and they are placed at different locations in the body so each of these uh, electrodes connected to the different body parts they will have different skin contact impedances generally in the form of resistance that is uh, let's say for electrode a which is located here at this location it will have an impedance of ra for electrode b it will be rb and for electrode c it will be rc now there are various factors which affect the skin contact impedance first is the type of electrode which is being used then the location of the body where it is used the type of electrolyte the skin preparation the nature of the skin so there are various factors and normally these skin contact impedances uh, have values of the order of kilo ohm in some cases mega ohm so they they have a tremendous impact on the biomedical signal measurement and especially in case of biomedical signals where the values are so low of the order of microvolt or millivolt even a small fluctuation can affect the measurement in a big way so this is about the skin contact impedance the next uh, factor which comes into play is the motion artifacts so before we discuss about motion artifacts uh, what is artifact so this artifacts are uh, unnecessary undesired signals okay noise you can say okay noise distortive components which get mixed up with the original signal okay original physiological or biological signal of interest and they mask the original desired signal okay as a result of which the output is full of error okay we do not get a correct or accurate output now motion artifacts occur due to movement of the patient's body parts okay you know any voluntary or involuntary movement of the patient's body during measurement can create these motion artifacts which are unnecessary signals suppose we can we when a monitoring is done long term monitoring is done it is not necessary that the patient will be in one position at all the time okay he will he or she will move his legs hands or any other body parts okay voluntarily or involuntarily it it is a uh, you know it is normal and as a result of that these unnecessary signals are generated which can uh, disrupt the whole biomedical measurement process so what are the effects of these uh, unnecessary undesired signals first of course the signal output will be incorrect okay because these uh, artifact signals get mixed up with the original signal and can either cause a reduction or increase in the signal value from the true value next is the the measurement system it exceeds its range the maximum range which can sometimes be cause a false alarm okay triggering of the false alarm and uh, baseline and uh, wandering so there are various problems associated with this motion artifacts because of the movement of the patient's body parts so this is the motion artifacts next is polarization okay now polarization occurs when a very low voltage is applied to a metallic electrode okay a very low voltage when it is applied to a particular metallic electrode this phenomena of polarization occurs now because of this uh, effect of polarization the electrode okay it can either allow or not allow a flow of current through it now in case of biomedical measurements the signals the magnitude are very low of the order of millivolt or microvolt so the polarization problem comes into play in biomedical measurements because metallic electrodes are used for measurements and the signal values are very low 
now we know that uh, when the electrodes are uh, brought into contact with the body with the help of a suitable electrolytic solution we know that the at the metal electrolyte interface a charge gradient a charge layer is established because the metal discharges ions okay the metallic ions cations generally into the electrolyte and also the ions in the electrolyte they tend to combine with them as a result of that there is a redistribution of charge and a charge gradient is established which is called as the electrical double layer now when a voltage or current is applied to this or a biomedical signal tries to uh, you know establish a conductive pathway through this the electrical double layers are disturbed okay now depending on the characteristic of this electrode okay okay for example position in the electrochemical series or whatever it can or can, may or may not allow a steady flow of current okay okay it may allow a flow of current or not depending on that characteristics the electrodes the metallic electrodes are classified into two categories okay two types now the first category is that in which the electrodes they allow very little current flow or no current flow and those electrodes are called as polarized or non reversible electrodes and the second category of electrodes is those which allow the flow of current okay it may be of low magnitude but still current flows in uh, it, it allows the passage of current these electrodes are called as non polarized or reversible electrodes now we require this electrodes this category of electrodes for biomedical measurements which allow the flow of current okay so this is the uh, concept of polarization which comes into play in the biomedical measurements okay so we require this second category of electrodes for biomedical measurements so here we have discussed the three factors which influence or affect the biomedical signal measurements first skin contact impedance motion artifacts the second and third is the polarization so skin contact impedance can be you know uh, it cannot be completely eliminated but it can be brought into control to a suitable extent by careful skin preparation and uh, proper signal conditioning techniques motion artifacts this also requires careful skin preparation and also uh, proper noise and distortion removal techniques and polarization is the suitable choice of metallic electrodes so with that we can uh, bring these three factors into control we cannot completely eliminate them there will be influence of these factors but uh, we have to bring them in control okay so here we have discussed about the important factors that affect the measurement of biological signals in biomedical measurement system so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much